guys. Uh, let's see. Where were we? March the 1st. That's right. So, um, played March the 1st out, got February out of the way. February was the big disaster turn where we had a... Uh, let's just see if I can run you through this and I'll show you on the board in a second. Uh, we had the disastrous uh, flanking maneuver through the Libyan Egyptian borderline desert. And that caused us to embark upon a massive retreat. And in fact, I had to uh, execute breakout. The breakout was actually very successful. I think 11 of 16 units or 10 of 16 units uh, managed to break out without being eliminated. And I put them all on the, on the turn track and I forgot that February obviously didn't have the 29th turn. So I had to move them all forward one. So when you look at the AAR, you're going to see that the, the units are really not where they're supposed to be. I've subsequently moved them. Uh, the Italian Axis, uh, the Italian German team then took a full turn to consolidate everybody, get everybody onto the highway, push some supply forward. Uh, we, um, moved all the trucks we captured back to, to Brook, loaded them all up. I've now got, a, uh, I'll tell you how many trucks we have on the roll here too. I've got four truck, four SP of trucks, plus the fifth, uh, I forget there's an abbreviation for that division, but the fifth uh, German unit uh, division, I forget what it is, it's LE, uh, dug on it, anyway and Rommel, uh, so I've got five trucks which uh, are almost enough to do a an extender. I can't use an organic truck for an extender, but we can sure uh, maybe piece together one more, uh, one more group of trucks to make an extender, if we need it. Right now I don't think we do because the uh, the DAC uh, headquarters has a 14 throw range, which is pretty huge if I can keep the road clear. Um, so, 1st of March saw the Allies go first, they reinforced Sidi Barani, probably a mistake as I look at the map. Nevertheless, uh, Rommel and the light Italian tanks have enveloped Sidi Barani, made a pretty savage attack, took a bit of a beating on uh, artillery uh, reaction fire by the British, which I reluctantly since the British were having such a tough time, I decided to be a nice guy and uh, I'd forgotten to put uh, any reserve markers on the artillery. And, hmm, how did I think about it? I'm wondering if those guys even moved. Maybe they weren't eligible. Hmm. Anyway, uh, there were two ID units in City Barani and there's a, a loop around City Barani of hedgehogs. And so I let... Uh, the two units fire, thinking, hey, you know, that's nine rated units, I'm not too fussed about them. Well, one of them did a step, lost, busted. And uh, they both dg so they DG'd two stacks. Uh, that chewed up a full SP of supply, and they're now down to uh, one and three T supply. So it's a matter of time, we'll just chuck that sucker out. But uh, I'm almost adjacent to the to the port, which will uh, choke off uh, zone of control, will close the port and allow us to uh, allow us to uh, do that uh, eradication of units. Of course, I guess they can do that um, breakout again. The breakout rule. I'm not. I don't like that third option very much. It seems to provide an enormous amount of flexibility. Uh, you got all the trouble of, of choking up, choking off uh, these units, and they can't. Uh, then they just disappear, fly through the desert. All right, I'm going to turn this around and show you the map.